Hey, what's this little five minute quickie about? Well, it's all about affirmations and affirmations not working. Well, if they did work, how they, how they could work. Well, how they do work. That's confusing, isn't it? Well, it's only confusing if you don't listen to the rest of the podcast. Then it becomes crystal clear and a benefit, I think. Have a listen after this. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, my friend. We're back together again. And just before we start this uh, five-minute quickie, I just want to say I had a David Goggins minute, or a moment, as it's I could say, because in this wonderful world of lockdown, we have to do some, we have to go out, we have to exercise. Normally, I'd go to the gym, but I had to exercise. And with me dodgy knees, I was still going to do a little bit of running, gentle running. And the day was blowing a gale. It had been pouring down with rain, and there was a gap just a little gap in the weather. And I had my David Goggins moment. And it said, I'm a savage. <laughs> I don't know quite why I got to be a savage. And I wasn't going to listen to no one. I was going to do it. And I did. And I came back and then the heavens opened. I didn't get wet. It was really, 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 really windy though. But I did it. And I felt so good for not letting any excuse, get me down. I wasn't going to have it. And that was a little bit that spurred me on to think of this, because David Goggins and other people, and we'll talk about those in a moment, can be really inspiring. Inspiring what they do, obviously. You know, they are, uh, they are living that inspiration, as it were, because it's truly who they are. But also what they say and how they say it to themselves their internal uh, internal dialogue, uh, things with David Goggin, it's sometimes a very external expletive language, but hey, if it floats your boat and does it, it's cool. But you see, that was my moment. I just want to share that with you. So if you're ever in that position, you will feel so good if you just do the thing that you didn't really want to do. You do feel better for it, I promise you. Anyway, here's the thing. Can you Can you imagine this? Well, first of all, we're talking about affirmations, and affirmations just do not work. Oh, Cluffy, how can you say that? Affirmations don't work. Well, they don't work. Well, not the way a lot of people try to do them. Here we go. Let's say this all together. I'm happy. 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 Hmm. Okay, let's try something else. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day, in every way. Hmm. Imagine this then. Let's just put this into real perspective. Let's just imagine or even remember. We've all had, I think, an experience like this where we haven't been feeling very good. Maybe feeling down. People would even say depressed. And I don't believe people just say, oh, I feel so depressed today. You can't just feel a bit depressed today. Depression is something a bit more serious than that. But I get what they mean. Just imagine a time when things weren't going well and they were making you feel down. Can you remember a time like that in your memory? Not one of those 10 out of 10 ones that we talk about, you know, don't do that, but just a time in the past. Or maybe if you haven't got a time in the past, because you have, I know, but if you haven't and you don't want to, imagine a time in the future. But I'd rather not do that because I don't like imagining times in the future because I don't want to put them into our future. I just want to imagine some, something in, in the past. I'll explain about that other bit another day why I don't like doing that, in the future that is. But anyway, I can remember a time when things weren't going my way. In fact, I, it's like when you wake up, and even waking up didn't go my way. And then things go wrong from moment to moment, and the day was getting blacker. Everything seemed to go wrong. Everything I touched seemed to be not the right thing to do. Everything I thought about, it's just, oh, it's just not working. And imagine this, you know, you imagine how you feel like that. You can imagine your voice inside, your internal voice is not probably the best. Oh, no, another thing. Oh, that type of voice. You know, you can probably be 
a little bit off balance. Certainly, I'm going to guess your head's down a little bit. Feel like there's a weight on your shoulders. You know, what, all of that stuff. And right in the middle of feeling just like that, you say to yourself, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. What does it do? Does it make you feel happy? Well, I'll tell you what it, how it makes me. It makes me feel even worse. It's like saying, happy? How, what are you talking about? That's not how I'm feeling. And just saying it doesn't make it better. And that's why it doesn't work. That's what Cluffy says. Anyway. That's my version of why affirmations don't work. When you do them in the wrong way, they do work, but in a particular way. This way, they work, but they work badly because actually are in total conflict. You know, you're totally out of alignment. You're totally incongruent because that's not how you're feeling. And try, you know, it, that is really the faking it. And everything you're doing is completely different to the way you're feeling, you're thinking. And to me, it just makes it worse. It makes it so much more frustrating because you're saying that and you're just not fooling yourself because you're not. And your unconscious mind goes, look, this isn't working. And in fact, to me, it just makes you feel even more down. But you see, they do work when you've got rid of that stuff. Now, even when things are going down, downhill as it were, you have to make it believable and achievable. We've talked about that before. How you can actually feel. In fact, sometimes just acknowledging how you feel, first of all, gives you that foundation. And then you can say things like, Okay, at the moment I feel down, but this too will pass. Because what does that do? Acknowledges the situation, acknowledges your emotions, but it also gives you that hope. And that's a line, because you know it will pass. But when you're in the muck, in that crap and all that stuff, saying you're happy just makes it worse. But this is saying, yeah, at the moment, things aren't working out, but it will pass. Gives you hope. Or acknowledging it again and then saying, well, but actually, I am okay. And I will get to feel a little better each minute because I'm just acknowledging the way I feel. It will work. I'm okay. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. The last one sounded like a question, didn't it? But it isn't. I'm still breathing. I'm okay. This will pass. I'm okay. It will be okay. And if you think back to all the problems you had in the past, you're still here. So therefore, they got resolved somehow. So this will pass. And you see, when that moves in that direction, you can then start to, as you feel a little better, because we're trying, you know, before one of the reasons it doesn't work, I said it's incongruent, but you're trying to jump from feeling really down to I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy and happy. That's far too big a jump. You're never going to land in that happy place. And therefore, your unconscious mind and your conscious mind just fall apart on that. But if we get a little better each minute, we can get a little better, can't we? Every breath you take, you could just get a little better, a bit, a little bit more clarity. Just by pausing, asking the right question. What can I do? What can I do to make this better? What one thing right now could I do that will get this to pass? What can I learn? What have I done in the past? Is there someone I can help? All those wonderful questions actually bring you in the moment, don't they? And start concentrating on how you get out of it, not just trying to fool yourself. You see, if this is really bigger than that, a bigger issue, and you're constantly feeling down, then that's something different. And I think we need to find out for that. You know, as I said, depression isn't something you just feel and then, oh, I'm all right today, by the way. That's bipolarish, but depression is, is more serious. But... And I say but, because I don't like, that does negate that seriousness, because it, it can be resolved quite easily. All you need is that one-to-one -one session with, with people, people who know what they're doing. But there are other stuff, you know, one-to-one, -one, I always say, get it done quickly. And I get, get to be lazy, as it were, to get someone to help you. Yeah, you've got to pay for it. But hey, think of the rest of your life, how the, the return on that investment will be to get rid of this bad feeling, if it's something that you're experiencing more than the other. If you, f well, if you just feel it's a, something you need to get, get, get rid of quickly because it's going to grow worse. 
But on the other hand, think of the other stuff. If it's not that bad, or you want to do something that's going to aid that anyway, you can find help through, say, hypnosis, hypnosis tracks. We know we've got a ton of hypnosis tracks here. I know if you look online, you'll find a ton of them elsewhere. I think by being here, there's a great catalogue. Why do I think that? Well, because I did it. (laughs) But you know what I mean. I think it's a great catalogue because it's based on real hypnosis, none of that relaxation stuff. It's based on real processes that work and experiences of over 20 years in the game. And it is a game. It's a game of winning. And that's what we're going to do. But, okay, you've got hypnosis. You've also got the archives here. You go back through, I don't know how many hours of podcasts, you'll find something that will give you that little tweak. That Because sometimes it's just that little bit of an aha moment that will allow you to change. Maybe you find the right book, the right teacher comes along in the right form, as it were. What you have to do, and this is what you have to do, is set your intention. This too will pass, and I'm going to make it pass. I'm going to find a way to, to make it pass, and I'm going to set my state. Now, whether that state is curiosity, maybe it's calmness, maybe it's openness, awareness, whatever you feel is the right state to have with that intention, and then you find that book, find that right past episode of the podcast, find that hypnosis track, find the right program for you, and it'll start to move. The other thing you can do to help you, and we were talking about examples, weren't we, when we first started, find examples of things that will motivate you or will motiv- will allow you to motivate yourself. That's a better way, because nothing's going to motivate you, but you, you can suddenly see the value in it and they get motivated. But they can inspire you. And when they inspire you at your in- identity level, boom, that's where we're really going to get it. You get to really feel at that level... I can do this, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. They're my notes, because you can do this. When you feel you can do this, and you're saying it, identity, I can, I, I'm a can-doer. So just like looking for people like David Goggins, if you don't mind the language, but man, he's an inspiration. And he doesn't give up until he gets his results. Being that uncommon person in a group of uncommon people. He gets his results. If you look for people like Joe Rogan on his motivation videos, just pick the bits you like and you'll get that unstoppable feeling in you. Just think, add to this, a bit like Disney and imagine, imagine the end result, that feeling. What's the feeling of the end result? And you put that all together and we get a boom with a capital B. We're going to go a lot deeper in this in another longer podcast, but I just wanted to give you little things that you can start to think of. Maybe we'll do a hypnosis process in a longer podcast. But just start to think. If I want to use an affirmation, I want to use the right type at the right time that I feel it's part of me. And when it's part of you at an identity level, I can do this. This too will pass because I can find the results. I can find the effort. I can find the the knowledge. I can, I can. That thing, when you truly feel, I can do this. You'll not only be inspired, but you'll also be inspiring. What a lovely place to be. And that way, we can actually thank a little bit of that bad day because that bad day has now become that teacher. You've learned something. So the next time, if anything was like like that was to happen in the future, you know you have the skill, you have the learnings to be able to deal with it before it gets out of control. You get to nip it in the bud. You go, this doesn't feel good. There's a problem coming up. I'm going to resolve this before it's a problem. Isn't that the right thing to do? Yes, Paul, it is. Enjoy. Have a little think, have a muse, have a, have a, over your cup of coffee, over your wine, over your beer. Oh, and talking of coffee, I'm not sure yet, but it might be out. I'm thinking of having a page on buy me a cup of coffee. And that's just a way that you can, well, buy me a cup of coffee and help just support this podcast. But I'll get into more details than that the next time. But if, it's, if I do do that, just have a look on the website. But be on my website anyway, 
and on the show notes just to show you there's a logo you can click here and if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or if you want to call it a beer or a wine either way i love them all by the way but just a way of being part of the community and supporting this this community and allow it to grow anyway enjoy muse over that drink and notice next time Next time, anything negative. Because you could practice this now, couldn't you? Practice it now. When you See, this is the best thing to do. I just thought about this. If you start to practice this type of thing when you're in a good place and you get that motivation and you find that motivation, it's as if you're, fi- you're setting the foundations. But if nothing else, you know where to come and go to find those things that are really going to give you that I can do this. Anyway, enjoy with every heartbeat because you can. You can do this. I'll speak to you real soon. Bye now. Hey, if you listen to the episode hashtag 211, uh, My Quiet Place, you know it's all about finding a special place to create your own stuff, to do the thinking. Maybe your own retreat, as it were. Well, to help you with that, I've managed to find out a way of giving you 60% off of my Inner Retreat Hypnosis Program. All you have to do is go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash retreat. And when you purchase it, just add in the coupon retreat, all in uppercase, R-E-T-E-A-T, retreat. Do that and you'll get a massive 60% off. It's only going to be here for the next two or three weeks, so do take advantage of it now. If you want to know what it's all about, have a listen now. We all need time to de-stress, don't we? We all need that space. Everyone needs space. Our own place of personal retreat. And going to retreats are great, but if you can't, why not have one in your mind? You know, if you don't go to that special place, that stress just builds and builds and builds. But if you have a place in your mind where you can go and de-stress, work out problems, think of all the wonderful things that you'll be able to do. The wonderful feelings. So that's why I've created this program of four hypnosis tracks to build and be and have your own inner retreat. You can have whatever you like in that inner retreat. There can be rooms, there can be libraries, healing rooms, different lighting, maybe a fire in the corner, a special chair, maybe incense. Anything that you choose. Some people have a computer that stores all the memories you've ever had. That library of everything you've ever read or everything you ever need to know. Maybe a healing room. A room where you can just go to and have your own inner healing or own inner relaxation. So what have I done? I've created these four tracks. One to build. One to extend it whenever you need to extend it. And then to be able to go there for a particular period of time or even a longer period of time. So you've got two tracks of just going and being in that special place where you can, you know, take a problem with you. Maybe muse it over in that special place. Or you can leave it there. Leave it to incubate in your unconscious mind. So when you come back, where you can just have the answers come. Or they might just come consciously. It's all there for you. All you have to do is go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash retreat. Have a look. Give you a nice little video there. Just see if it's for you. I think it's a lovely little program. There's nothing to lose because there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's a lovely program. And I think it was one I wanted to do for myself because I just thought it's just a wonderful thing to do. I love retreats. But hey, this is your own personal one. Have a look. Enjoy. There you go. So if that does interest you and it's going to help you along, go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash retreat purchase and then add in the coupon retreat r-e-t-e-a-t all in uppercase and there you go massive 60 percent off for you i just don't believe what i've just said i cannot spell can i retreat is r-e-t-r-e-a-t retreat (laughs) So you have to, I'm so, so sorry. I got so involved with it. Anyway, R-E-T-R-E-A-T, retreat. That's what you put in.
that's your discount. Okay. I am so, so sorry. Head in hands, sob, sob. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.